anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. I guess she just answers the same question. Hey, Samuel. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Sweet. Wow. You got serial killer written all over you. <laughs> oh my god, that was so creepy. Oh. Maybe you're maybe you're the one who who kidnapped Rachel. Oh. <laughs> That's with all these posters. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Oh, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Wow! The... Who the fuck says that? Oh my... What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. I had goosebumps talking to that guy. Oh my god. Oh, Victoria. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Hmm. I have an idea. I really do. No. Yes. Yes. I have an idea. We'll get to that later. Let's talk to... What's your name? Dude. Why can't I talk to you? Talk to me, girl. Girl, talk to me. You're the weird gothic girl. Girl, talk to me. Fine. Yeah. Fine. God. Uh, Rachel owes me money. Damn, Rachel, you've been around. Yeah. Hey, Samuel. <laughs> Sweet. I had that idea first, Samuel. You know what I'm gonna do, guys. Shout. Let's get these bitches out of the way. How? Let's see if this works. Can I climb up there? What is the sprinkler? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Oh. 
Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Alright, we gotta find that valve. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. A seat. That's a mess. I know that. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay, I have to time this right. Yes! No way! No fucking way, yes. Victoria! <laughs> oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get no. some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Hell yeah. But I'm sorry for Samuels. I'm sorry for getting you in trouble. Okay. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Sweet. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Yeah. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I comforted her, but... You deserve I, a better shot. I kind of felt bad. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Nice. You know what? Uh, I'm... Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Um, that ended in a positive note. It really did. I mean, if any other girls... And if anybody else would have done it, uh... Yeah, that would have been sweet revenge on a sweet plate, but you know, we're better than that. You're better than that, Max, and we always going to be better. And I'm glad you, we picked this choice. We did. I'm glad. I'm dead. Yes, you will be a better girl, Max. Moral horizon is always at stake here. Murder? Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Uh, Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. You got that right. No boys allowed. As if. I mean, you want boys in there. Juliet, extreme reporter. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? Hmm. What happened to Rachel? Toilet paper. Of course. That's not. Pull Looks like nobody won gun. this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Yep. Missing posters there. Oh, look at the board here. 
Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are when you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Just download for whatever. Oh wait, there was more. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Hmm. Thanks for the warning. Huh. Okay. Showers. So those are the showers. Why can't I go in? Guess they're not. They live. Don't be a zombie. <laughs> Social media has a time and place. That is true. There are so many people who are just threaded to their cell phones. It disgusts me sometimes. Look. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Yeah. That shouldn't be on Kate's thing. Peace. Always be positive have to thrive for that. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everybody gets sad and lonely. And if you need somebody to talk to, please call us in time. We will listen because we care. I hope it's been a closer Huh. Lost phone. Ah, there was more. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Meat is still murder. Join the Blackwell. Oh. No. No. I love my bacon. Girls' night out. Halloween-y scream along. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. That's Max. That's my room. Oh. What can I write here? How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Well, it's time. What did you write? Max. <sighs> Look. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Be the change you wish to. S yeah. <laughs> Tough hypocrisy at its finest. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Not really. You're perfect for Warren. From what I've heard and his texts to you. And Stuff that you don't answer him. Do you only see him as a friend? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Wow. I wish I had this in college. You have an awesome room. This just screams personality. That's awesome. Right. I feel boring now that I I feel my life is boring now that I see your room. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. That's what moms are for. It's hard to believe I'm eighteen now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but you're, we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you. Your mother and father. Hugs. That's so adorable. It's not exactly watch. pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Max, the more... I wish you were my daughter. You're so badass. <laughs> Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I need to hear you play it more. I'm curious now. And you can play. That's awesome.
soak it in, guys. Just soak it in. Alright, that's enough for now. But you can play, girl. Let's not overdo it, though. I got a video to make here. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I would just sit here for like 30 minutes to hear her just play that one song. But, you know, I just... Our videos don't have time for that. So we'll just Instant keep going. film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. And as you should be. That's just fine, you know? It's, it's, it's a hobby. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Water, you? you are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Well, yes. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. DVDs. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey, girl. I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks when I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. XO, XO, DD. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I do that so well sometimes, it scares me. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I don't think so. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Warren Graham. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather... Ex electric collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now you can quickly explain to me how a camera works. Be seeing you, Warren. I think he likes you more than a friend, Max. If only you could see that. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Get your inspiration all. All right, let's check out your photos here. Yes, we could ask you to look closer. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Your dad had a epic beard. Oh man, if I could just grow one of my own, that, that would was be awesome. a good hockey game and a great fight. <laughs> man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Drunk? Oh. I wish I could see that. That would be awesome. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton. The greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Whatever floats your boat, you do what you gotta do. And if it inspires you, fuck the rest. You only be called a hipster if you're just doing it for... for the image. If it makes you happy, fuck all of them. Let's play. Yes. I'm trying to play some music while we just look around. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. 
Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care, and for the most discriminating viewer, I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and the Ultra Vixens. Peace. Warren. Um... I'm not too fond of Cannibal Holocaust. I thought it was just too much for me. I don't think it was a good film. I'm sorry. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. More photos? Yes. Let us take them. Red Eye, you have earned a trophy. For those who haven't seen it, uh, it doesn't really appear on the video, I've noticed, but I will read you the trophies once I get them. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Let's lie down. We're tired after what we went through. <laughs> Let's soak into the ambience. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Check out this. We got a message from mom. I know that we did. I know we did. Yes, we did. Um, mom. Yes. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you've told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we could talk about this. Mom. <sighs> Mr. Wells. You're better than that, Mr. Wells. You're supposed to be an example. You know, people with guns. It's a serious charge. I don't care how rich you are. That is not no excuse to bring a gun to school. Never. <sighs> All right, let's see what else we missed around here. I love reading these things. I really do for you guys. Oh, what's this? I missed a whole lot. All right. Okay. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science. So maybe he could even think of an explanation, though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I'd better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, Binge on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat, Kill kill a Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white badassery, <laughs> Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Program, about the millionth time. I love your taste, Max. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I could totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in, and even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. She actually told me, go fuck your selfie. 
Though it was funny, I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe. But it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps, covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Beatrice of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there is hope for the future. Hopefully. I already read all this. Ooh, stars means new things. Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase could be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he's, he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places as his family last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over-medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out, and he almost killed, or did kill, a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like, I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Oh, Southern. Whoa, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they're committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He's grilled me in the hall today, and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. Oh, so of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro, dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to taste but He's got a gun? <sighs> he would make a good photo portrait of authority though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. <sighs> Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Here's the principal. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He was so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems to be a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but that could have been his cologne. Right? But I remember my first meeting in his office, and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Alright, we're done with that. Uh, saved. Prologue Monday. Now we saw that. People of interest, chrysalis. See, there's a photo she took. I can't believe you ripped that up, girl. That was beautiful. I oh, always saw that. Oh, boy. Gotta answer to mom. Soon. Let's get up, girl. Gotta get that flash drive. Gotta get that fire drive. Gotta get that fast drive. Flash, flash. You oh. can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Um, okay. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. 
answer, you wuss. 